experience I wouldn't have missed for anything. I, I feel very, you know, privileged to have been part of such a, a wide organization. <laughs> Little country girl. <laughs> Did you ever get a chance to visit Bletchley oh, during yes. the war? Yeah, yeah they, they, they used to give us lectures there, oh, okay. you know, about what we were doing, how we'd helped to break certain codes that were very important. One was the Scharnhorst. We found out where that was and we had to send a reconnaissance plane over so that the Germans would think that's how they'd been spotted. Right. You see, we, we, couldn't, we could never use it without have, having some backup. And we stopped Rommel's supplies from getting through. Those were the two main ones that I remember. And because of that, of course, he had to surrender. One of the um, guys, the, the engineers, and he said sometimes we read the message before the person got it, <laughs> who it was going to. Well, theoretically, you could have run I into the past it, the they, they were all weirdos. I mean, you know, when you're used to uniform, these guys were in baggy corduroy pants cycling around and looking like nothing on earth. They weren't smart, smartly dressed with suits and ties and that kind of thing. So we did used to see a lot of them wandering around when we went, but we never were introduced to any of them. Yeah. We were much below them. <laughs> They're out there, we're down there. Yeah. <laughs> but we did all the uh, doggy work. <laughs> it's been, when you said I missed the job, you missed a message. Yeah, you missed, you missed getting the, uh, decoding. You know? right. I mean, that was a big thing. So what would they, they threaten you with? Well, uh, they threatened us with jail, but touch wood I never had to find yeah. out. So <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. I don't know whether they really would have done that, but that's what they used to tell us. Scare the heck out of us. We were kind of young and impressionable. Well, at the back, <laughs> they would send us, we were, everything was on teletype. Right. And they would send us what we call a menu. Yeah. But we plugged the back and the front had to be set like ZZA, ZZB, ZZC, you write through the alphabet and we had, I think it was six, two, two and two. So if the setting was right, that would decode and that, that would go round the menu and then we'd call and say, yeah, that one did. If it didn't go round the menu, we used to have to call and say, no, there's something wrong there. Didn't. But m most times it, it was job out and they said that we probably... Um, took two years off the war, and that would save millions of people. You were a little bit of a rebel? Uh, well, <laughs> I, I think we all were in the service because, you know, they were very stringent, and uh, you felt a bit fed up sometimes. <laughs> we had a lot of laughs. I mean, we really did. We had, we had a good time. During the 30 years when you weren't um, allowed to speak of the project, your work, did you ever say, I wish I could tell somebody? No. Never, never. I, never, never. I just thought, didn't think about it at all. Yeah. Wondering why they're making such a fuss. I'm going to tell them Oh, wow, I was in on that. I didn't realize it was, it, it was that important. <laughs>